One of the major issues in the news right now is the so-called deal of the century that's being tabled by Donald Trump and Israel and being forced on Palestine. Now, it's very obvious that Palestine isn't being talked to. They're not even being discussed with. They're not even a part of any kind of negotiations or anything. This is purely the United States using its economic and military power to force uh, a so-called agreement. It's not, a, it's not really an agreement when you're forced into it onto Palestine, which essentially gives Israel a free hand to be a colonial occupier and, frankly, guilty of genocide state. Now, what it does is it, it completely legitimizes Israel's sovereignty over the West Bank. Uh, the Jewish state would then have the ability to annex vast swaths of fertile Palestinian lands, in other words, steal their farmland, while also banning them from importing uh, goods as a form of punishment for not going along with occupation. Now, Israel would get to keep existing settlements in the occupied West Bank, which the UN has already declared to be illegal, which the UN has done absolutely nothing about, which reminds us that the UN is a almost completely worthless organization, and that if there is anything to be done, force does need to be used, and that would be against Israel and it and the United States, the people who are primarily responsible for this. Now, Muslims all around the world have decried this move, as along with everybody else who has a conscience. This is a ridiculous attempt at a deal. It's a deal that nobody would accept if they were on the Palestinian side, because it's, it's tantamount to apartheid, and practically even worse than the apartheid state that existed in um, South Africa. Now, it's interesting that the Palestine would get a capital in East Jerusalem, currently controlled by Israel. So let me get, the capital of your country would be in another country under the control of another country. And that's sovereignty? Is that is that supposed to be a Palestinian state where their capital is in another country, controlled by another country? I mean, it's, it's, it's completely ridiculous that anybody who even looks at this for 10 seconds is going to realize this complete and utter nonsense. Now, Palestinians would be theoretically given a limited amount of autonomy within Palestinian homeland that consists of multiple non-contiguous enclaves scattered throughout the West Bank and Gaza. In other words, it'd be a peace here, peace here, peace here, peace here. In other words, if you wanted to move within your own country, you would literally have to be passing through another country. In other words, they would all be separated, and they all could be blockaded by Israel. Which, yes, they would do it, because they're doing it right now. And have repeatedly done it throughout the past. So your country is literally just little enclaves scattered throughout a map, with no actual connection whatsoever. This is complete and utter nonsense. This is ridiculous beyond, I mean, any, any conception. Critical areas such as trade, immigration, and security would remain under Israeli control. So that's the sovereignty of the of the Palestinian people. That's the great deal that they'd be uh, n uh, crazy to pass up. Really? Now, I wonder if the maggots, 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 really understand that's what is being offered to the Palestinian people. This insult to humanity. Because they seem to just simply cheerlead anything Trump does is good because the libtards don't like it. I mean, there's, there's a lot I could say here. And that most of the world is standing by doing nothing. Canada, Australia, Japan, uh, the UK, basically the uh, imperialist and junior partners of imperialism are standing by and allowing this to happen. The countries with the least amount of ability to do something about it are the ones that are showing outrage and, and protesting against this. The Palestinian Authority had no control over its borders. It would have no control over its infrastructure, ports, airports, land, water, and resources. Which begs the question, what would it actually have control over? So they don't control their own borders. Another country does. 
they wouldn't have control over their own ports and airports, so they wouldn't have autonomy over their own transportation. Uh, they wouldn't have control over their own land and water and other resources. They don't even have any control over their natural resources, implying there's any natural resources where they're being forced to by Israel. And right now it doesn't even have full control over its own budget. Public servants are not getting paid their full wage in Palestine because Israel, the occupying power, has decided to take a portion of the funds allocated for salaries. So let me get this straight. The Palestinian state employees aren't getting paid because another country has decided to slash their budget. The fact that anybody could think that this is a form of autonomy is ridiculous. This is complete and utter nonsense. To I... I really don't have the vocabulary to explain how insane this absolutely is. This is a crime against humanity. Something that is so blatantly insane, cold-blooded, and genocidal being done so openly in front of everyone's face. And the international bodies which are supposed to regulate these things, completely useless. Because if they do anything, the U.S. will cut their funding. And God knows, probably invade their countries and murder millions of their people. That literally keeps happening. So any kind of Palestinians having any chance at a life whatsoever would have to involve the dissolution of Israel as an illegitimate state. And frankly, the end of the U.S. empire. As a military occupying force across the world, it would have to come to an end. What would take to accomplish that is another question. But at least the U.S. as an occupying military force across the world, that would have to come to an end. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.